Hey, Dr. E here. I want to talk to you a little bit about blood sugar and how it relates to your thyroid. This is a very critical, critical point if you're trying to manage your thyroid condition. Blood sugar problems are the number one metabolic stressor on the body. Every cell in your body relies on the right amount of blood sugar to work optimally. In fact, your nervous system only works on blood sugar and oxygen. Now there are other cells in your body that can use other forms of energy, but as far as your nervous system is, is concerned, this would include your spinal cord, your brain, and all of your nerves. Only blood sugar, or only sugar I should say, and oxygen are the two things that it can only use as a source of fuel. So if your blood sugar fluctuates, it's like you're hitting the panic switch inside of the body. The body is thrown into a state of confusion and stress. Now, normal blood sugar should be between 85 and 99 if you do a fasting blood glucose, as it's called. If there's too little blood sugar, this is called hypoglycemia, hypo meaning too little. The range right there is anywhere from 65 to 84 or 85. Um, that's not a good situation to be in either. Okay? But on the other end of that, you start swinging into what's called insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is blood sugar that's too high. This is actually classified as pre-diabetic as well. Insulin resistance would be ranging from 100 to about 126. Anything above that, now you're looking at actually diabetes. Now the big complication of insulin resistance, and again that ranges from 100 to 126, is the effect of increasing a hormone called cortisol. When cortisol levels go up, inflammation goes up. When those two things go up, you're also going to see in the female body elevated levels of testosterone. And elevated levels of testosterone means that the shift of female to male hormones inside the female body is taking place. This is not a good situation because what happens is the receptor sites for T3, which is the active form of your thyroid hormone, become desensitized, which means the body's not responding to the production of the T3. And as a result, your thyroid production is going to go down, your thyroid function. You're going to have symptoms of a hypothyroid. You're going to feel tired or run down or slow. But with elevated levels of testosterone in the female body, you're going to end up or risk ending up with situations like PC. COS, which stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome, also infertility. As you're dealing with high levels of testosterone, it creates a situation where the female body just is not going to be a good host for raising that little one that's coming along. So also associated with that, you can get the situation, other typical female problems with the, with the elevated testosterone, which can be moodiness and irritability, the bloating, the discomfort, the cramping, uh, the weight gain, even facial hair. You may find that you begin to sport a little mustache, which I haven't yet met a woman who likes that. So just because you have thyroid problems doesn't necessarily mean you have a thyroid, just because you have, excuse me, just because you have thyroid symptoms doesn't mean you have necessarily have a thyroid problem. You need to take a deeper look at what's going on there. We can help you out. It's Dr. Erickson. Give us a call if you'd like to. We do put on some free workshops that relate to the thyroid. The poke around on our website here, you can find some information regarding those. Uh, otherwise, I want you to have a great day. Hope to see you sometime in the future if you feel like we can help you. Bye-bye now.